Always known there was something special about me. I was I always felt different than the other boys. Um, I can go back and even remember elementary school, but I think I started to piece the puzzle together when I hit seventh or eighth grade. That's when I started to realize, ah, I like boys. <laughs> That's what's different. <laughs> um, so then, you know, it, it took me a second to realize that and and I was generally okay with this. It wasn't like an internal struggle trying to come to terms with it. I think of what caused the turmoil was more of how do I tell people, how do I come out? And that took a little bit to figure out. my coming out process uh it, I, it pretty much i pretty much can sum it up as i seriously underestimated that amount of love that my parents have i seriously underestimated them because i didn't officially come out uh when, until i was a senior in high school and i started telling my friends i had my first boyfriend you know all that uh but i didn't come out to my parents until I was a sophomore in college. And I have moved out of the house uh, because I wanted to, I found an, art, an apartment. And I think until I did that, I didn't feel 100% comfortable because I was scared. Oh my God, they're gonna kick me out of the house. Uh, oh my God, they're gonna not love me anymore. So I wanted to have that safety net kind of in the background. So. Uh, so if they did say, uh, get out of the house, I can easily just walk away and say, well, I don't live here. So I came, I, I came out to my younger sister first because we were like two years apart. So we're close and like she didn't even think anything of it. She's like, thank you for telling me. And it was like nothing. Um, but then when, uh, you know, fast forward two years when I had moved out and I was in college, I then uh, came out to my mother. And it was, it was one, it was, it happened in, in, in her bedroom and I was just sitting there and uh, the words couldn't come out of my mouth. It, it, it was, it, it was one of those things I was, I was, I was, I just couldn't talk. And then she just asked me, uh, are you gay? And then I told her crying, yes, I am. And she just hugged me and, and she said, that's okay. Uh, I love you, you're my son. Well, a 15 year old me was wound up real tight. You know, I, w I was a typical, you know, a personality overachiever, you know, straight A's, uh, was involved in student government, you know, the usual stuff, right? To, to kind of take the focus off the fact that I never showed any interest in girls whatsoever. So I was so hyper, sensitive that I didn't want to give up any signs that I, that I was gay. So, you know, Octavio, everything is going to be okay. And everything happens for a reason. Just sometimes you just, just have to let it go and just trust the process. One little bit of advice is just like I, I, like when I was young, you had to really stop and just look behind you because there's a lot of people that did this work before you did with, 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 with in a much different environment. So think about the lessons learned from, you know, the generations before you, uh, because a lot of people had died and work really hard to get us where we are today.